is sweet. There's gold in it. Let's do some panning. Alrighty then, so what I have here is the best damn pan. Alan Dampier in Canada invented it. It does work. Um, shot video with it before, and I wasn't quite using it right. I was going a little too erratic left to right, so I hope I'm doing it good now. I think I'm taking a little bit too much time tipping it forward, but it still catches the gold, and there's already gold in it because, hey, the dousing rods don't lie haven't let me down yet so what I have here is one pretty good heavy bucket of material and I want to go through it and see what we get I've already done a little bit so let's do some more come out of there stratify it down preferably without sloshing water all over the place and when I used it the first time it wasn't even seasoned yet and it probably still isn't completely seasoned but yet it still caught the gold can use it with the dam in it or not and flipping the dam upside down one you have more clearance underneath on one side than if you flip it over you have less clearance Alan's probably going to tell me you can tip it faster easy pan to use and like I said it definitely works I'm working more material I'm not going to keep that in there Alan I don't know if that's uh, something you would do as you're adding more material I like to put this to me I would like to put this to the back but I don't know 
know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm certainly, uh, I've certainly been wrong many times in my life. <laughs> I think I'm going to speed this up. Sitting on pallet, butt getting sore. I need to take a break. Back in a bit. All right. So what you see me working on here is pretty much 100% black sands. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's heavy stuff. I've got most of it out of there, and it still still weighs quite a bit. Probably only about you know, a little over a quarter of a little tub here, but huh, bubble wrap. Wonder if we'll get any rumbles out of this. <laughs>
This a little easier. Spin it off tool. that really fine stuff. side and as soon as I see a piece of gold I'll either push it back into the pile or stop and give it the bounce or the tap or whatever you want to call it. The funny thing is I don't know how many of you have noticed this but that smaller gold seems to bounce up when you tap seems to bounce up a lot easier and quicker than bigger gold. It's weird. I would think it'd be the other way around. see it's 
you just you can't miss it I mean fool's gold if you're in the Sun it'll look like gold it'll shine and glisten like gold but once you get into the shade fool's gold no longer shines but gold on the other hand it doesn't matter if you're in the shade or in the Sun gold is gold and you can see it that little tiny tiny piece right there in the front and I've probably got gold down here too but all of this is going to be going into a super concentrate bucket stuff that I'll run through the blue bowl with the dream mat in it I haven't tried that out yet told there's not going to be a whole lot but the very first time I used this pan I just did pretty much a full pan of this stuff and there was a good 30 some odd pieces in there if not more see a lot of people squirt a whole bunch in there for those of you who don't know jet dry acts as a surfactant which is it, it releases the surface tension and prevents gold from floating because gold is basically like it's hydrophobic Once air hits it and then the water comes back up to it, it'll ride right on top of that water. Kind of like Teflon is.
seen quite a few little pieces in there. right there that looks kind of chunky is really kind of one, making me wonder what are you? <laughs> That's a piece of gold. It's a very, very chunky little piece of gold too. That's unusual. very distinctive look to it. Oh yeah, it's gold, all right. Stay there. Another thing you see me doing is giving it a little bit of a shake when I bring that water back down. So I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 at least 20 pieces some of them are so tiny I mean they are like micro dots boy is that small let's get the other piece back in there I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Well, we'll give it a shot. Probably going to have a glare. Let's see. If it'll focus on her. All right, I think I just shut that off. Yeah. Can you see those micro dots in there? I don't. I don't think I. I it looks blurry on the screen to me, but 
that pan works and this battery is about to die so I'm going to plug it in and then I'll wrap it up after it charges a little bit. Back in a bit. Alright, so in this video we use the best damn pan from um, Alan Dampier, Placer Tools out in Canada and the spin it off tool and I I can't remember who makes that but mining supplies but pretty soon here this well no next month um, I keep telling you folks that uh, Dark Canyon prospecting his website will be up he will be selling these um, but for right now I don't think there's a is there a website on there no there's not but um, Columbia River Mining Supplies is where you can uh, where you can get it right now, but um, and it's I tell you it's, it, it works really well. But the uh, best damn pan now you'll see it's got four riffles and they're vertical and they're really deep. They're really deep riffles. That's why it works so well with the uh, really really fine gold and of course if it's going to work for the fine gold it's going to work for the bigger gold too and you can go through uh, quite a bit of material rather quickly I mean I've brought it to the river and it's it's even quicker with just regular raw material from the river but with black sand of course it's it's, it's going to take longer but far quicker than if I were to pan it out and like we saw it, it did capture oh about 25 I think it was about 25 little pieces and one fairly nice little chunky piece there and I, I certainly hope that it showed up in the video and then as far as the wall goes I've showed you this guys you guys have this before but you can see if I can get it up against something how it's notched out and there's more of a reveal over here than there is up here so when you set the wall in if I put it in this way there's going to be less of a gap underneath and then if you flip it over there'll be more of a gap or you can use it without but it does work really well I like it um, I'll certainly be using it especially here with the black sands and I have brought it to the river like I said so um, yeah, pretty good and quick for testing if you wanted to test a really good product and Alan Dampier is a really good guy um, we're working with him on the magnetic probes as you all know um, so anyway I thank you all for watching I just had to go out and boy is it cold out there Whew, it's chilly and it's and they're saying we could probably get some snow tonight who knows um, we've seen it dusting so far that you really didn't amount to anything it, it left real quick melted um, but it's coming it's coming I've got the snow blower all ready to go but uh, I just had to go out and ship out two gold traps. So I'm back and I'm done. So thank you all for watching. Get yourselves a spin it off tool and best damn pan, magnetic probe, dousing rods. <laughs> all right, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Catch y'all later.